those parts of me that are going to get me the praise, the recognition, the approval, the acceptance, um, those are the ones that I'm going to project out into the world. The ones that are likely to um, cause penalty or punishment, whether that's anger, whether that's a smack, whether that's isolation, um, those ones I'm going to tend to try and suppress. This episode, we feature coach and author of the book, Reclaiming the Life We Lost Along the Way, John Patterson. So Reclaiming the Life We Lost Along the Way is basically the culmination of a near 40-year inquiry into the nature of why do we human beings make the choices we do? When we're born, all of us as infants are basically in alignment. But very early in life, we begin to discover um, that we're dependent on other people and that other people actually have the ability to either bring us happiness or suffering. We set out to interpret these messages that we get from the outside world that start with our family, uh, then our friends, from teachers, uh, from our religious leaders, um, from our community, from our society. We start kind of in some way breaking into fractions of ourselves so that if I'm with one crowd, I'm going to project this kind of an image. If I'm with another crowd, I'm going to project that kind of an image. I mean, back in, in the Middle Ages, one of the most powerful punishments that you could impose on an individual was to ostracize them. They were literally kicked out of the village. There are um, uh, various religions now that use the same practice. They, you basically become invisible to the community. And therein lies the problem, because if I can't find a way to be connected with you, I, I in a way cease to exist, okay? Mm -hmm. And so, so it's more than just wanting to be liked, it's, it's a desperate human yearning for connection.